Hi everyone out there. Hope you guys are practicing social distancing to alleviate the spread of the COVID-19. That is very real, it's dangerous. Please let's abide by the government containment strategy to help us all because you just don't want to be ill. I want to thank all those who did bulk purchases and individuals who bought copies and for those who are buying for relatives and friends. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to Eric's workshop because we really need to get this rolling. Today I'm going to talk a bit about my educational background and career before I set the ball rolling on Eric's workshop. I'm Eric Donko, as you may already know. I'm a mental health and a childcare practitioner. I graduated from two universities in the United Kingdom, Greenwich and Plymouth University, majoring in mental health and business management. I have the NMC, which is the Nursing and Midwifery Council and um, Ofsted registration pin and a member of the Authors, Lions and Collecting Society in the United Kingdom. I have a rich experience of working with kids and have, who have learning disabilities, um, working with psychiatric patients, both CAMS, CAMS is Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services and Adult Services, ranging from forensic, uh, the prison services, um, Americans will say incarceration services, clients with index offenses, acute initial episodes, which is acute setting, drug and alcohol, you know, settings, rehabilitation and home treatment team with all kinds of diagnosis from the ICD-10, which is the old version, but the new version is the ICD-11, which, you know, obviously is a new version of the international classification of diseases so the previous one is icd-10 as i mentioned earlier on the world health organization's fully electronic 11th edition of the international classification of diseases contains fifty-five thousand codes compared to the fourteen thousand four hundred in the icd-10 and this was compiled you know, by the Medscape report. The ICD-10 will be repealed and replaced by the ICD-11, which is a new version, and be fully operational from 1st of January, 2022. I have the privilege of having my own childcare business before I did my BSc in business management, which obviously helped me to build efficiently my entrepreneurial abilities and strategies. I have 21 years experience of working with kids from three months to 16 years from a home setting, a home environment, as you know, you may know. Due to the indiscrimination of the nature of our job, I had the opportunity of working with young people that had challenging behavior and moderate to low behavioral problems. This rich experience in mental health and child care gave me the opportunity to develop my books. I am currently working on an interesting novel, but it's taken me more years to complete than expected. But I will get there, you know, because Room wasn't built in a day, so you know, gradually I'm going to build it up and it's going to be good. I have had the privilege of working with families of my clientele, which enrich my social and psychological experiences with multicultural proficiencies, you know, considering all the race, culture, you know, traditions, creed, religion, faith age, gender, sexuality, and accepting every client for who they uniquely are, because you have to respect everyone. I have the understanding of working in the hospital environment as well, and the home setting, as I already mentioned. 
I have the opportunity of working in high secured, medium secured, and low secured units of the mental health wing. I have the leverage of working with multidisciplinary teams that tailor the unique care plans of our clients, which is the most beautiful thing because we treat every individual as special, you know. I will end here and continue my next video. So watch out for the first exciting topic, which will be dubbed or captioned COVID-19 quarantine and how it affects our mental health. We will be discussing chapter 14 of my book from pages 98 to 101 on anxiety disorders because I believe that the principal symptoms of this time of uncertainty, you know, is anxiety. Please, we will be doing Q&As, questions and answers. So prepare your cues, your questions on the topic I just mentioned and send them to my page. So we have an interactive workshop. I will answer any questions or concerns posted on my page. You know as we go along on the in the next video thank you and then click on the subscription button and make sure you hit on the notification bell to get alerts as soon as my next video comes up so we will be discussing you know the anxiety disorder which relates to what is happening right now because everybody is anxious you know to know what exactly is going to be the end product People are waiting for vaccination. We don't know when it's going to be coming in. People are waiting for, you know, a, a, a severe drug that is going to alleviate, is going to wipe all this, you know, stress and inconvenience away because businesses are being hit. Relationships are being hit. You know, unemployment is rising high and we need to really think about issues like that. And as we discuss our mental health issues in terms of this current pandemic, which is chaotic and is really making the economies of the world, you know, dive into deep recession. So we'll be discussing that topic. Try and, you know, get some questions that you think is bothering you so that we can all interactively, you know, um, discuss it and your contributions are well come thank you and stay safe the covid-19 is real